We're going to be creating a volumic lighting pass now. Um, basically on the train we have a spotlight already created and that's going to be casting a volumic light onto our main character. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a new empty pass and once we have that done we're going to uh, quickly rename it here volumic pass. Now with our spotlight selected let's isolate that into a new partition so partition new and we'll name that volumic lights and what we're going to do is apply a volumic property to that partition so get property volumic and now you can see we're actually rendering with our volumic lighting effect so what we can do here is actually tune the look as we want it so I'm going to turn on uh, volume shadow so it um, uh, objects actually include the volumic lighting effect. I'm going to reduce the size of the light a little bit and we'll introduce some shards into the effect so to give it a, a little bit more realism. So basically you can fuss around with that a little bit until you're happy. Um, the next phase is we want to actually isolate only the volumic lighting and uh, hide everything else but still have them cast shadows in the volumic light. Uh, so what that means is doing something similar to uh, the cutout pass where we actually turn off the shading of all the objects. So what I can do is go to the background object partition and we can actually just apply any material, uh, say like a Lambert. And by just turning off the actual uh, diffuse shading, you can see we're isolating just the volumic lighting effect. Um, this isn't too bad. The thing is, a Lambert shader is a little more expensive to evaluate um, to than we need, really, because all we want to do is do a cutout pass. So we can replace that with like a color share or something, a very simple node that is very fast to evaluate a mental ray. So hit number seven to open up the render tree. And what I want to do is get a color share node. So let's go to share, color share. And we're going to plug that into the surface instead actually all the different ports so using shift the shadow and photon so let's inspect the color share node and using control we can drag that all down to black and we get the same effect and it's a little less expensive to evaluate if we actually look at with the alpha you can see the effect we're getting um, let's actually look at the alpha channel And there we go, a simple volumic lighting pass.